A year of COVID-19 in Louisiana also means a year of restrictions on the way people in prison communicate with their family. Tonight, WDSU investigative reporter Emily Lane shows us a new effort to amplify the voices of children living with a parent behind bars. When I miss my daddy, it's hard because sometimes I be needing to talk to my daddy about stuff. Louisiana has more people incarcerated per capita than any other state. The ripple effect is thousands of children growing up without their mother or father at home. Earlier this month, a new group, the Council of Children of Incarcerated Parents and Caregivers, met with Governor John Bell Edwards' staff. One of its leaders, Bree Anderson, says their goal is to identify children who need help. So many of us are told that we're going to drop out of school. We're going to end up in prison like our parents. We're going to be teenage, preg you know, pregnant teenagers. And it's not true. So to include their voices and implement them into some holistic healing programs so they don't end up doing something to make them go to prison, or, you know, make them go to juvenile centers because it's not that they want to do it, but some people don't have an outlet. Anderson says making it easier for people in prison to nurture relationships with children can lead to better outcomes for the parent and the child. Take 19-year-old Aaliyah Allen. Her mother was in prison, yet Aaliyah was class president at George Washington Carver High School, made the honor roll, and earned a track scholarship to UL Lafayette. Statistics show children of incarcerated parents are more likely to get suspended, expelled, or jailed. But Aaliyah says she stayed in touch with her mother, who actually motivated her. Like she told me. It gives me something to live for. My success, what I do, gives my mother something to live for. And as long as I'm making my mother happy, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing and making myself happy. Because not only is it, is it a blessing for her, but it is for me because that's just what I want to do. Today marks a big day for those with loved ones serving time. A ban on in-person family visits that's been in place a year because of COVID-19 is now lifted at all state prisons. That's promising news for 14-year-old Brianna Brown, whose father is serving time in Angola. I don't know when the last time I saw my daddy in person. Since the pandemic started, state inmates have been given two free 10-minute phone calls a week. Aaliyah tells me 10 minutes isn't enough when she has to split it with her younger sisters and grandmother. Prisoners can make longer phone calls, but they have to pay for it. Bree Anderson, whose organization Daughters Beyond Incarceration pushed for the council, said their next push is going to be for free unlimited phone calls. With WDSU News, I'm Emily Lane. Emily, thank you. Governor Edwards calls this new council an extension of his office's work on criminal justice reform. He also sent us a statement. It says, quote, the children of incarcerated are often forgotten and invisible to policymakers. This council is going to ensure their unique needs are known and understood. My administration is committed to ensuring every child in Louisiana can live out his or her fullest God given potential. Also, Daughters Beyond Incarceration is collecting donations to fund family calls. If you'd like to help, go right now to WDSU.com for more information.